Hi everyone and welcome to this three parts video series where I'm going to share some personal insights and experiences about social selling leadership. Now we all know that the world is changing faster than ever. We also know that social media and with that as well social selling has become more important than ever for any company. But we also know that it brings some challenges with it in terms of how to lead and how to create a strategy, in terms of how to execute a strategy and also how to amplify a strategy. And exactly these three points I would like to touch upon in the next videos. So today we're going to start with lead. How can you lead social selling in new companies? How can you take the ownership and the leadership of social selling? Now, obviously, if you are a sales leader, then social selling is within your area of responsibility. But we also know that a very important part of social selling is actually content marketing, meaning that the collaboration between sales and between marketing is extremely important and very, very crucial. And not only that, social selling and social media st uh, strategy and leadership such, such has to sit actually very high up in the organization. So you need to try to make sure that you can involve as many leaders in your organization as possible. Now, that being said, I would like to share a story with you about a company where we had a sales leader actually focusing on social selling with his sales team. We had a marketing team where mar marketing were focusing on generating leads as well as on, on actually um, launching uh, campaigns on social media channels and we had some subject matter experts in the company who were actually from every now and then sharing some own produced content or some company content. Now what we did is we put everybody in a, in a room and we tried to understand each other what are your challenges. Now obviously sales did not close because the leads were not good uh, the marketing were saying that the, the leads were good, but sales were not good enough to close them, etc., etc. We all know these discussions. So what we did is we put everything on a white paper. We started with a, all over again with a white paper. We involved not only marketing and sales, but we involved actually the entire leadership team of the organization. And we asked questions and we re replied to questions like, what do we want to communicate as a company? How do we want to be perceived as a company? Who is our target audience? And who are the people in our organization who should or could get involved in this? Now with that, we did not only create a foundation for a solid and holistic strategy, we actually also created a foundation for a collaborative approach, meaning that marketing and sales and the entire leadership teams were jointly defining the goals and the strategy. And this is exactly what you want to achieve. Because if you have an overall and holistic agreed strategy with the entire leadership team, you have done the first step in a successful social selling strategy. Now, next time, we're going to talk, to talk about how to execute the strategy in your organization. See you then. Stay tuned.